First, uh, make sure that it's level. Um, second of all, then uh, what you do is you, you uh, try to adjust your straps. Okay, um, Several different adjustments on the straps. Um, the more expensive helmets have um, highly adjustable straps that are extremely comfortable. Um, when you uh, look at uh, strap uh, adjustments on uh, some of the less expensive uh, kids' helmets and less expensive adult helmets, um, they, there's not near as much uh, adjustability uh, to them. Um, the first strap that you want to adjust is uh, the straps by the ears. Okay, so these uh, these systems right here, it's really easy to kind of goof them up right away, but basically uh, this strap right here is supposed to sit uh, and the clip is supposed to sit just below your earlobe. Okay, if it's too tight it, uh, and folds up the earlobe, it's not comfortable. Uh, but yet if it's too loose down here, um, it uh, it allows the helmet to shift uh, forward and backwards. Um, additionally, um, that this adjustment right here is what keeps the helmet from tipping too far forward or also tipping too far backwards while they're riding. So very, very important. Um, if it's uncomfortable, kids aren't going to want to wear their helmets. Um, then the second, uh, after you get done adjusting uh, both sides so that the helmet is fitting uh, level this way, um, again, then uh, you adjust your chin strap. Okay, a couple of different ways uh, to adjust to make sure that the chin strap is fit correctly. Uh, one, you can use the same uh, two finger rule, two fingers underneath of the chin, um, with the buckle resting uh, snugly, uh, but not too tight uh, underneath. Or you can also have them open their mouth as large as as big as they can. If they can open it up and uh, this buckle is sitting uh, just underneath of their chin, then it's, it's tight enough. If it's too tight, obviously they won't be able to open their mouth too far, uh, but also if it's too loose, uh, this buckle is, uh, will sit too far. And the problem with that is it allows the helmet uh, to lift up uh, off the top of their head and then uh, rotate back and forth. The third and final adjustment uh, on the helmet uh, should be uh, the backside adjustment if it's there. Uh, you know, and again, some of the some of the other helmets, some of the kids' helmets are now uh, starting to have uh, much more adjustability uh, to them. Let me see if I can find one. Here's a, a good example of a helmet that really has very limited adjustability. Um, however, not uh, it, its adjustability uh, is tightening and loosening the straps along the side here, uh, actually loose, tightening the padding. Uh, that adds a little bit of traction uh, to this in order to keep the helmet on. Uh, that, uh, this part of the helmet is also going to work in conjunction with uh, the straps along the side uh, to help keep the, the helmet from uh, tipping backwards and forwards as well.